Black holes are the sinkholes of the universe. Everything that goes in its way gets devoured and eaten up. What's inside a black hole is itself a mystery. Black holes are said to be everywhere in the universe, varying in size, mass and age. Black holes are a hot topic for modern theoretical physics today. If you want to time travel, if you want to unlock the secret of the early stage of the Big Bang, if you want to go to a parallel universe, at least according to some theories, just jump into a black hole. Well, don't really, we can't be sure if you would survive that. Black holes, despite having a common story, can exist in different forms. So let's see how many types of black holes are there in the universe. My name is Siddharth and you're watching The World of Science. Generally, black holes are classified into three categories – stellar mass black hole, supermassive black hole and intermediate mass black hole. Let's talk about the stellar mass black holes first. These are black holes that are formed due to the gravitational collapse of a single massive star. Gravitational collapse is a process under which a cosmic body continues to contract under the effect of its own gravity when there is no other force remaining to counter its effect. This stage starts after a star has completely consumed its hydrogen fuel and is no longer able to generate energy that would balance the inward gravitational force. Hence, the stars having a mass up to 10 to 20 times solar mass continue to collapse till they form a compact stage of a super-dense neutron star. Neutron stars consist of neutrons as due to huge gravitational force, protons and electrons get fused to produce neutrons. Further, when the neutron star becomes unstable, it explodes as a supernova leaving only a compact core behind and this compact core is known as a stellar mass black hole. Scientists estimate that there are millions of stellar mass black holes present in the Milky Way galaxy itself. These types of black holes are also known as collapsers because they are formed by collapsing. Scientists and their funny choices of names. Supermassive black holes. Every galaxy has a very unique feature. At its center, there is a compact region that is highly luminous and releases energy in the high frequency spectrum such as X-rays or gamma rays. These compact regions are called active galactic nuclei and it is thought to be a position for a supermassive black hole to exist. Active galactic nuclei or AGN are thought to be in abundance since the very beginning of the universe, hence these normal black holes had sufficient time to gather enough mass and eventually become supermassive. In 2015, NASA scientists observed an X-ray flare coming from the center of our Milky Way galaxy. The flare was around 400 times brighter than the normal signal coming from the region. It was clear that this was produced when some cosmic body fell into the black hole present there and the accretion disk of the black hole increased. These black holes are about a few million to billion times the mass of our Sun and are generally believed to exist at the center of galaxies, just like our Milky Way contains a black hole named Sagittarius A star of mass 4 million times our Sun. These black holes are thought to be formed from the merger of many small black holes or the collapse of an entire stellar cluster. Or maybe they are formed completely of dark matter. Just think about it. They are big, massive, gravitationally dominant, but invisible. Do you see some similarities? It is not weird to think of this proposition, but it is also not proven yet. So I will leave it to your imagination. Intermediate mass black hole. These black holes are in the range of 100 to 10,000 times the solar mass. They are neither as big as one in the galactic center, nor as small as the stellar mass black holes. This is a recently proposed category and very little evidence has been observed regarding such black holes. But in 2019, a gravitational wave signal was observed from the merger of two black holes, 85 and 65 times the solar mass respectively. So we do have evidence of intermediate categories now. They are generally formed when several stars present in a dense region of the galaxy collide with each other in a sort of chain reaction. Such black holes are present in large quantities in the arms of spiral galaxies. These intermediate black holes when falling into each other can form a supermassive black hole as we have discussed before. 
So we have discussed all three general categories of black holes. Now let us have a bonus category. Few Russian physicists have proposed one more category of the black holes known as primordial black holes. Stephen Hawking was very much fascinated with the concept of primordial black holes. Think about the initial seconds after the Big Bang. The universe was not homogeneous. Some regions had high concentrated energy while some had low concentration. What if during those initial few seconds, high densities and heterogeneous conditions could have led sufficiently dense regions to undergo gravitational collapse, forming mini black holes? These primordial black holes in the range of the smallest possible mass of 10 to the power minus 8 kg to 10 to the power 5 times the solar masses were spread throughout the universe. They could have simply popped up into existence in that radiation-dominated universe. They are not formed of normal baryonic matter and hence they can be a very good candidate for dark matter particles. But we have no solid evidence of primordial black holes till now, although Stephen Hawking was very much confident about it. These cosmic monsters of the universe are even more mysterious than they seem and many studies are going on throughout the physics community to know the exact nature of black holes. What if I tell you that there are still many scientists who propose that there cannot be an actual black hole in our universe because science does not allow such objects to exist at all? We'll surely talk about their proposals in our future videos. So what do you think might happen inside the black hole? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video interesting, please leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check out the latest issue of our magazine Cosmos Now, which is India's first independent astronomy magazine. Link is in the description. Do follow us on Instagram for daily quality content that'll make you fall in love with science. Make sure you subscribe to the world of science. Until next time, stay scientific.